Hey, it's Jeff with YourLearningCareer.com. Today, I'm going to give you seven tips about seven taps. What is seven taps, you might ask? Well, seven taps is a program that makes it really super easy to create micro learning. And best of all, it's free. I'm going to put a link to seven taps in the description below. And then, of course, your next question might be, well, what is micro learning? Well, micro learning <laughs> is basically it's like really small pieces or chunks of learning and seven taps makes it really easy to create this now if you want to know more about what micro learning is i will link to a really good book it's called micro learning short and sweet and it's written by dr carl Kopp and robin de felice i will link to that in the description below i'm also going to link to the micro learning conference which is sponsored by seven taps. So now let's jump into these tips. Tip number one is that seven taps is meant for micro learning. And you might be thinking, well, no kidding, Jeff, you just said it's for micro learning. But the reason I make this tip number one is because I keep seeing people post their examples of seven taps that they've built. And it's not that they're bad per se, but they it's like people are trying to put in these long, courses like what you would build in an e-learning authoring software and while i do think seven taps could be used for prototyping some e-learning courses it's really not meant to hold a full-blown e-learning course that's not what micro learning is so my first thing is make sure if you're going to start using seven taps make sure you really understand what micro learning is and what the purpose of seven taps is so that you can use it most effectively tip number two so for this i'm actually in seven taps and i want to show you when i go to add an image i have a couple of options here in the free version i can add animated gifs and then there's also this brand new option where I can actually grab a photo from Unsplash. So that is very cool and it is brand new. And then um, if I wanted to use my own image, you'll see for that I would have to upgrade. But at least um, I do have these couple of options for Unsplash and the animated GIFs. And for this tip, that's what I wanted to talk about, the animated GIFs. So my tip number two is to just caution you on that. I've noticed a lot of people, again, people get the free version, they love seven taps, understandably, but the thing is they, they cram their, they put like a GIF on every single page. And to me, it gets a little distracting. And also I would just say this, if you're gonna use this for a portfolio, you know, and, and you wanna look professional, I don't know if a bunch of these, you know, moving dancing flowers is gonna really, you know, make you look professional. So I'm not saying don't use the GIFs, I'm just saying don't overdo it with the animated GIFs, bottom line. Tip number three, now I'm gonna start showing you some specific things that you can do in 7Taps, some ideas that you can use for 7Taps. So tip number three is to use it for in-class reinforcement of material. So for example, I have a course here called WDW Dining. So I'm pretending like I'm teaching uh, call center people who work at Disney World. I'm, te I'm, I'm teaching them how to you know, answer questions and things like that. And let's say I wanna test them on what they've learned so far about the dining programs. So what's really cool is how you can share this with your class. If I go to share, I have a couple of options in the free version. I can do a link that I can send to my class or I could do a QR code so I could tell everyone in the class. And this is whether I'm live or maybe I'm doing a virtual instructor-led course. I can tell my class to you know, grab their phones and scan the QR code and then look at that. See how I now have the course on my phone and I can just tap to get to the next question. And so this could be a really great way, just kind of a fun, different way to uh, do a little knowledge check with your class. So that's tip number three. Let's go into some other ideas. By the way, if you are uh, finding this helpful or cool, please give me a like. I really appreciate it. 
Tip number four, I think this could be a really fun way to do a scavenger hunt. So here I built a new employee scavenger hunt and I'm gonna put this in preview, but just like I showed you, you could have your class scan a QR code and then they could you know, put them in on a team and then you could go through a scavenger hunt and I might tell them take a picture of XYZ. Um, I might have them, you know, tell me what the company values are that are on a plaque. Uh, maybe I have you um, tell me the price of a sandwich in the employee cafeteria. So that way I'm getting them to actually go to the employee cafeteria to find the answer. But you can have a whole lot of fun with this. But again, you notice I'm not doing anything fancy. I'm not even using the GIFs for this. I'm just, you know, it's just very simple text. But it's giving, they got it on their phone and they've got these instructions that they can go around on this scavenger hunt. So I think that's a really fun idea. Tip number five, another way you can use seven taps is for pre-class stuff. So maybe you have some class rules or some class information. Maybe you wanna put a link to directions. There's you know lots of things you could do. I did a little sample one here. So here's a class prep where I tell them, you know, to bring a customer case with them. Maybe I put a link to an FAQ and bring a, oh, look at that. There's a GIF. Ah, uh, how fun. Uh, bring a positive attitude. This is all in the free version. I had all of this functionality that I just showed you. This is all available for free. Now, as you start to use the free version, are there some limitations? Yes, but as you can see, the free version is very, very generous. Now, if you decide, gosh, I'd really like to uh, go to the paid version, let me just show you that real quick. So you can upgrade and you can see, like to go to the pro version, it's $99 a month. And you might say, wow, that's a lot of money. Um, you know, especially if you, you know, you're self-employed, you're a freelancer, what have you, that could be a pretty big chunk of change. So tip number six is if you do start to realize, man, I'd really like to use the paid version, check this out. They encourage you to apply for a discount. So it's possible. I'm not going to, I can't promise you anything. I'm not going to guarantee anything, but you can see here, they say, Hey, we offer discounts in certain situations. Click here to apply for the discount. And I can tell you from personal experience, they are very great to work with. Just really, they really want to get the word out. Like this is a very small company. They want to get the word out. They want people to use it. They want people to talk about it. So I would definitely recommend if you're a little worried about the, the price tag there, I would definitely at least apply and see what happens. For tip number seven, I just want to show you this really cool functionality that is only available in the paid version and it is learning paths. So what you do is you create your your little mini courses or whatever you whatever you want to call them. And what you do is you enter the emails of the people in your class. And then what will happen is it will automatically go to them. So you want the pre-work to go out first. Then a week later, you want the next piece to be pushed out to them. And let's say this is the sales class. This is going to be uh, that, that in-class learning that you're going to do. And then maybe a day later, so the second day of class, that's when you're gonna have a scavenger hunt of some kind, and then that's gonna get pushed to them. So this learning path is another really cool feature. So that is just a small taste of some of the cool things that you can do with 7Taps. As you can see, it's a really powerful way to enhance your overall learning strategy with micro learning. I'm gonna link to it in the description below so you can go out and check out that free version of 7Taps and start playing around with it. Uh, if you found this helpful, I always appreciate a like and I'd love to hear from you in the comments as well. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.